new studio vlog. It is actually really stormy outside. So today is Monday. It's the start of a new week. And yesterday I started this painting. I had a little bit of an art block. I felt like drawing, but I didn't know what to draw. But then I took out all my gouache paints and I just started painting something cute, something different. It's a little bit different and I really like the process and I'm really excited to finish this today. I don't know if you can see that, but there's actually like a spike and I'm scared that the, when I draw with it, I'm gonna scratch my screen, so... new stickers and new print for the March Happy Mail for my patrons and I am in love with how they turn out. The quality of the print is stunning. I don't even know if if the camera can pick it up. Like the lines are so sharp and the colors are perfect. Wow. And then the stickers, especially this one. Especially this one. Look at this. How cute! I love the colors. So this is the set my patrons will get for March. It's the first week of the month, which means it's time for me to pack Happy Mail.
these ones have the addresses on them and this is the small pile that I still need to put the addresses on. Lately the weather has been really beautiful, there's a lot of sun, it is ice cold outside but it's sunny at least and I really enjoy that and every afternoon we go for a walk and we get coffee and going on walks is so nice, it's one of my favorite things to do. I used to be really good about it, I used to go on a morning walk every single day. But then I kind of got lazy and lately I am starting my day with a morning walk again and then also afternoon walk. And it's so good, it's so good to move, clear your mind. They've definitely really trying to take much better care of myself and I started doing yoga again sometimes just a little stretching session in the evening I put my phone away I'm always in front of the screen lately what I've been trying is to limit my screen time during the day but also put my phone and everything away in the evening and it's really been helping with my sleep and also I feel way more calm and relaxed since I started doing that. I don't know for how long I'm gonna do that and I also picked up a new hobby. I really got into reading. I used to love reading when I was a kid. I used to always read all the time and then I stopped reading for years and recently I started getting back into it and currently I'm reading The Seven Husbands by Evelyn Hugo. I've been seeing this book on the internet for a while and many people talk about it and recommend it. So far I've been really enjoying it. I just wrote a little live update post for my patrons. I do that every Monday. I call it the Monday letter. This week my goal is to make a Patreon video. My patrons voted for a video about how I organize my self-employed life. How I manage everything. How I make sure that I stay on track with all the things that I need to get done every month. How I organize my Patreon rewards. Because I do quite a lot of different rewards and I need to make sure that I get them all out every single month. Month. I will also talk about how I make sure I have enough time for art making and have time for my personal life as well. I will talk about my notion, how that helps me to stay on track with everything. Also my little chalkboard thing that you don't really see. Wait, my little chalkboard thing right, oop, right there. This, this one. And everything else that I need. Wish me luck. I start filming now.
Okay, so that is the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Now it's time for the question of the day. Okay, so here's a good one. The question is by Artsy Doodling and it says, I have a question for the next vlog. Where do you find your inspiration? So most of my inspiration comes from the things I love. I love plants a lot and I love drawing plants. It's just so calming and taking care of plants is a big interest of mine and i also love drawing them i love drawing people and outfits and clothes i used to draw this one style of portraits for a long time and i now went back to drawing what i used to draw when i started drawing years ago colorful it's more playful definitely more simple looking work i don't just draw people anymore i, I draw plants i draw animals and still people but more like outfits not just the portraits that i used to do i find most of my inspiration on pinterest it's always like the same things that catch my attention and it's always plants and animals and people i think that just comes down to me being like interested in those things i also take a lot of inspiration from just going on walks i also take a lot of inspiration from like retro 70s kind of artwork and vibe especially with the colors i love a lot of the warm red orange brownish colors with a little bit of green here and there i really like that vibe there's nothing in particular but like just the whole 70s retro illustration and graphic design stuff so i love that kind of stuff and i definitely draw a lot of inspiration from that i try to sometimes portray the same vibe or like the similar a similar vibe in my work if you have a question for the next vlog leave it in the comments down below and i might answer your question in my next video thank you so much for watching the video especially to my patrons who are always cheering me up and supporting me and loving what i post on there and i'm just so grateful to have you guys yeah have a lovely week and i see you in my next vlog bye guys mm -hmm.